Hello and welcome to HBFT Gaming. I'm HBFT and we are back again with Baldur's Gate 3. Previously, we interrupted a bit of a tryst inside of a barn and I'm happy to say that we came out on top. Oh man, so uh, obviously we've got to keep pushing it. We've got to try and find Master Halls in. I think we're ready to kind of move into the north. I remember that I was really worried about those opponents that were like level four or higher and even though they're extremely dangerous since we're all still level three i feel like we're kind of running out of places to explore in the south so we should probably be pushing forward to the north so we're going to head over to where we were with a gith yankee patrol and hopefully we'll find a little bit more because it's, so far it seems like nobody really knows where this giant bear master halls in has gone and i've been delaying kind of getting zevlor and his folk out of the druid grove so let's see what we can do all right, bunnies. So here we are. So we go over to the map. You'll see that we are right next to where that tryst was. Uh, this is the Githyanki patrol. It seemed like the bridge was a bit cut off. We kind of fought here alongst this, uh, this somewhat of a bridge, uh, but we haven't ventured forth up any higher. I don't know. It's probably a dead end up here, but I'd like to at least check it out. So uh, let's go ahead and move. It seems that we've got a cross. This is where we fought against the gnolls. Um, so obviously to the north, this, we've had some serious issues with these gnolls. They completely outclassed us. I really don't want to tussle with them. So if we look at what is available to us, we moved over to the right. We were able to take out, this was Karlach, that demon. Uh, we fought up here, but we never pushed past that village where we, uh, there were sort of like demon hunters that we destroyed. I don't know if we come up through here and come over to the left. We might be able to get a better view, but let's, let's cross over to the left first before we do that. Okay. Oh, what is this? Some type of abode? Something's burning. Oh my god. Looks like a blacksmith area. Dead drow. Raider, though. They're raiders. What is this? Flaming Fist Tristan. The Flaming Fist Gauntlet Dane. Alchemist Fire Ruby Ring. Hello? He of the unsleeping eyes. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. And my condolences to you. He should never have been here in the first place. I'm the one that talked him into joining the fist. What the happened? What the hell's happened here? A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. And you came Please later? Just leave me be. Huh. We should probably lead with those with the highest charisma, so we'll start with Shadowheart here. I hear shouting. Someone needs help. With the door? Wow. Drowish studded leather armor. Oh, I'm curious what I look like in this because quite frankly, we are drow, yeah? So if you look right here our Armor is 19 armor class and it goes down to 17, but oh, look at us. Dude, we look really freaking cool. That looks really cool. I wonder if we, we give that to our um, to our rogue it's over. Although he's got leather armor plus one. Never mind. Yeah, I bet there are people trapped inside. The Grand Duke could be inside. Don't just stand there. Push. Push against the wreckage. Minus one. Gosh, I need Lazel. I need Lazel. Push! Plus three. There we go. Push against the wreckage. Oh, come on! <laughs> Damn it. Ah. Do I get a reroll on that? Damn. Find another way inside. Oh, that would have been so good. She was the best chance that we had. Well, I guess coming up from the top here. Let's try and come through here. And we'll go up the... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I will come up the stairs. Hopefully, that'll be the way up to the top. Use jump to reach. Strike it. Ah, there we go. There we go. Heck yes. Splintered beams. <coughs> the fire! Hurry! 
Come on, Lazelle. Do not fail this roll. Heck yes. Thank you. Thank you. I'm assuming that's who we're trying to find. Benrin. Rescue the Grand Duke. We managed to get inside. We need to find the Grand Duke and fast. A man is stuck under some rubble. He's not the Grand Duke, but he still needs help. Okay, so it wasn't him. Oh, we're suffocating? Holy crap! All right, pull back, pull back. Pull back. Wait for it. Can we get a heal off? Shadowheart? It's a little difficult to maneuver inside. All right, where are we going? Can she use the surface? Go. Cut down on some of the burning. Can't really see. Break this door. And go. Move. Wow, we're really burning. Come on, everybody. Can we jump down? I guess it's a thing. Jump on down. Target too far. Jump here. Cautious steps. Open that door and we go up in flames. Okay, prayer, prayer. Alright, Lizelle. Uh, even though we don't have everybody, we gotta keep moving because this is looking pretty dire right now. We gotta open this door from the other side. There we go, there we go. Oh, they're upstairs? Where are they going? Oh, here? Break the door. Counselor? Fresh air. At last. Your boldness is a blessing. I'm in your debt. Fresh air, you're like... You can see the sky above you. <laughs> Drow have taken Grand Duke Older Ravenguard. Westward. If my eyes and ears may be... Wow, well, everyone's going I west. I to the Flaming Fist Manip with haste. And you. I must ask again for your aid. Wow, well, the camera's all weird. Please. Rescue Ravenguard from his drow captain. So now we've got Master Halls in and Ravenguard. May I trust you'll see it through? You don't even know who I am. All right, well, fair. Come. I'm afraid Papa thanks must wait. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Let's get the heck out of here. How do we go? Come on, everybody. I don't even know where the other party members are. They must be stuck outside burning. When we would have doubt. So it is spoken, and so is it done. Oh, he's stuck? Ah. Come on, guy. Holy crap. Wow. That is that is a bit of a nightmare. I don't know if it's because it's in early access, but gosh, that was really hard to get us through all of that. The camera was kind of all over the place and, and, and just things were just awry. We're using up all of our healing right now. We'll go do a quick rest. There we go. And uh, he gets. We really do need to do a full rest, though, because we used up all of our charges. So they said westward. We got to go westward. So what is to the west? I mean, like, I guess we could go past the beach. We could try to go past the beach where the Githyanki were. Definitely, definitely, definitely need to do a full rest, though, if before we get into any like serious, serious battles. So because we have no healing whatsoever right now, other than potions, we haven't actually fully explored this area. Yeah, this was cut off. We can't cross there. It looks like we're stuck here. We can take it one more look at it, but I think we're kind of capped here, right? I mean, look at this flaming fist. So those were the flaming fist. Baretha. Oh, what? What kind of door is this? Is it an illusion? Oh, the region you're trying to reach is not yet available in early access. There's more for you to explore, though. So gather your party and venture thither. Okay, so this is like a different place. The shadows are spreading. A 
occult forces at work. So fair enough. We're, we're cut off here. So this is the extent of early access. We can't go farther to the west. And we cannot go any farther to the north. As you can see, it's stuck here. So let's start heading south. We may have explored at least very briefly. Because remember, we're not trying to dig into early access entirely. Because I want to make sure that we still maintain uh, some of the game for its full release. So maybe we should try and talk to Zevlor and see if we can't escort him out. Because right now, the gnolls are the only thing that we can get into. And quite frankly, I don't think we're strong enough to deal with him. Okay, so we're going to zoom on over. Uh, where is Zevlor? Zevlor's in the Druid's Grove. Uh, the closest place to that would be the roadside cliffs. And we'll head east, north, hopefully talk to Zevlor, and we'll try and get him out of there. I was kind of hoping to find Master Halls in first, and I think if we're playing the main game, I definitely would do that. However, in this case, I don't think we can move to the west far enough to find Master Halls in or Raven Guard or any of that. So let's just talk to Zevlor and see what that is like. Definitely some kind of camp. It's actually a really nice spot. Good vantage point. Far enough away without being too far so that you can take advantage of the civilization down here. I would definitely take that camping spot in real life. Icaron, stone door. Secluded chamber. There's Zevlor. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. You're welcome. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Well, you know, if I'm with you, everything should be fine. Your people need to leave. I can help. I'm grateful, but there's still an army of goblins out there. I won't expose my people to that. Tell me, what do you know of the man they call the Blade of Frontiers? I don't know much, but I have heard. Never heard of him, the Monster Hunter. What about him? He showed up just before you arrived. His skills are legendary. Is he level Even 5? He advised against facing the goblins head on. He proposed another way. Sabotage? He believes the goblins will scatter if we kill their leaders. But he needs help. You've proven yourself a capable warrior. I'm sure he could use you. I'll see what I can do. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. You'll find the blade in the caves. He's training the children in some basics. Good thing, too. They may well have to put it to use. All right, so this actually works out well because we've been to the goblin camp before. So hopefully... Hopefully this will take us back there and we can actually explore it a little farther. And in the midst of everything, we might be able to get away with discovering the Night Song, which after all was one of the... It was like some type of artifact that we were supposed to recover, but it's slain the adventurers who were looking for it before, right? So let's see. I know where the training camp was. I did remember the Blade of Frontiers. Uh, I just need to orient myself first, right? The Blade of Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. They're tough kids. Oh, this guy? Smart, too. The future's in good hands. That would make it... This guy here. This guy. Go on. Give me a best shot. Uh, what does that mean? Am I supposed to attack you? <laughs> we need to talk, though. The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. Oh, he's a potential An ally, too. face commands your mind. Rust-red skin, gnarled horns. Chuck, he is infected. <sighs> I'll be damned to the hells. You were on the ship. God, a lot of people were on the ship. I saw a creature in your thoughts. A devil? A demon? <laughs> Keep at it, kid. A demon? Sounds like that brain bug's really wormed its way in. We've both got parasites tickling our grey matter. And I've been having the strangest dreams. 
haven't turned into a mind flayer just yet. But sooner or later, my luck will run out. Well, what are your dreams about? I need a healer. And I reckon you've been thinking the same. The sooner the better. I don't need this thing bursting through my skull. I've been waiting for this druid Halsin to return. They say he's pretty powerful. He could probably help us. Yeah, but he ran off to the west as a bear. Problem is, the goblins have nabbed him. We better go find him before we start growing talons and tentacles. Oh, maybe he's in the goblin camp? Hey, we can look for Halsin together. Excellent idea, but I have a condition. Go on. Look at these kids. They've no chance on the road, not while goblins infest it. It's like I told Zevlor. Kill the goblin horde's leaders and the buggers will scatter. Frontier justice, I call that. What say you? We're in. I'm on board. Let's clear the road. I love your spirit, but you're full up. But when the time comes, just holler. The blade of frontiers will come calling. Go to my camp and wait for me. A splendid plan. Oh! Let's chat there. He's an ally. Holy crap. All right, all right, all right. Well, tell you what, this is what we're going to do. We're going to head over to, can we get to the goblin camp? Let's see, we're talking about Joaquin's Rest, Githyanki Patrol, Goblin Camp, Blighted Village. All right, so we're going to the Blighted Village. We'll kind of move on over to the west and let's get this guy in. I don't know who he would replace, perhaps a Starian? Maybe a Starian? So what I'm going to do is pull off of a Starian. We'll get all of his gear. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need this guy, right? Especially because he's the Blade of the Frontier and all. I'll pull Gloves of Power, Leather Armor off. Oh my! <laughs> Alright, fair. And uh, let's go. We'll go camp and end the day. Oh, it looks like Shadowheart has something going on here with her. Damn thing. It has to open, surely has to do something. Shadowheart's attention is consumed by a strange box that she turns over in her hands. The box is inscribed with unfamiliar glyphs. Uh, what do you have there? In an instant, Shadowheart hides the box from view. Keep out of it. <sighs> What's the matter? I'm being interrupted, that's what. We can talk later. Jesus. All right. All right, Astarian, I need you out of my party, though. You again. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think it's better for you to stay in camp. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Please just stay here. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. All right, fair. It sounds awful. Okay. And Blade, what's up, Will? I was watching you at the Grove Gate. You spilled enough goblin blood to fill the Chiontha. Where'd you learn moves like that? And why didn't you why were you just watching? Why didn't you fight? Life in the wilderness molded me into a warrior. The frontier is a hostile host. I've spent many a year trying to tame it. The blade's not often keen on sharing his glory. But if he has to, better it be with a champ like you. Are you, so are you a fighter? Well, what about you? How did you become the Blade of Frontiers? There was a time I didn't amount to much. But then, uh, a higher purpose called to me. Killed a few goblins, freed a few captives, and I was hooked. The only life I want is a hero's. Now, let's get some rest. I do my best goblin killing at sunup. Can I add you? Salutations. Add you to my party? Unusual name. We should turn any moment. I'd like you to join me. Ah, that's the spirit. There we go. Oh, hello. So what is this guy? That's what I want to know. He's a warlock. Interesting. A warlock? That's like a, a Malay specialist? What in the world? Okay, so let's see. Maximum hit points per level. Eldritch invocations. Spell and replacement spell. So we can choose two. When you cast Eldritch Blast, add your Charisma modifier to the damage it deals unless it is negative. His Charisma is pretty high, 
So that helps. You can cast Mage Armor at will without expending a spell slot. That's going to be useful. Thief of Five Fates. You can cast Bane. I haven't had as much use out of Bane as I would have liked. When you hit a creature with Eldritch Blast, you can push them farther away. You can Disguise Self at will. You can cast False Life on yourself at will. Devil's Sight. You can see normally in darkness. You can invoke your patron's bewitching charm. Deception and Persuasion. You can cast Speak with Animals. I want Armor of Shadows. I think it's going to be useful. And we have Hex. Curse a creature to deal an additional 1d6 necrotic whenever you hit with an attack. The creature also has disadvantage on ability checks for one ability of your choosing. We'll just accept. And I'm sure he's going to level up again, yeah? Because we are level 3. Hit points. Pact of the Chain. Pact Boon. Gain the service of a, fami a familiar, a face spirit that takes a form you choose. This can be an animal imp or quasit. I'm not too sure what a quasit is. It sounds interesting. I'll see. So Misty Sep, you teleport to an unoccupied space. You can see, okay, that is powerful. That is really powerful. A replacement spell. What do we got? Hex, arms of Adar. Call forth tendrils of dark energy. A spectral frost covers you. Burning hand spells available. So I, I think we, these are what we have equipped, right? Ray of Enfeeblement. Okay, so what do we have? We'll shut these off. What can we replace? Blindness. Burning Hands. We'll just hold here and accept. Okay, so I am going to, though. We'll go over to him. What are his abilities? Can we do any sort of replacement here? So if we go to... And for him. Find Familiar. Level 2. Misty Step. Hex. What's in our book? I thought since we're over here, we should be able to kind of like replace his spells like what he has equipped, but maybe not. Arms of Adar, Armor of Agathis, Find Familiar. That's something that we have on our Ranger, but we've never used. We should probably click on that. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We'll go over. Let's go ahead and get our light armor. He does use light armor. I thought he might use robes, so we'll get this over to him. Hopefully that'll help out because he barely has anything, yeah? Gloves of Power. Absolute Bane. So we'll go Leather Armor plus one. So we're at 12 and he goes to 13. Leather Helmet. Now we stay at 13. Dexterity saving throws. And then finally Gloves of Power. Creatures hit by an attack may receive a D4 penalty to attack rolls and saving throws. Out of everyone, I feel like Lazel would be able to use that the most. So let's go ahead and pull that over. We want it on a Malay user, I think. And equip. All right, here we go. And let's rest. Let's see, Will and Volo. Oh, Volo's here too. I forgot. He was going to join us. There he is. Hello, Volo. What are you up to? Ah, my good fellow. Hello again. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Hey, no worries. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> what do you know about mind flares, Volo? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. <laughs> the druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar. I have it right now. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Well, and they're parasites. Do you know anything about them? As a matter of fact, I do. But why do you? Well, because everyone here knows a lot about them. Not only have I encountered a mind flare, I've killed one. A mind flare planted one of their larvae in my brain. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If only your disbelief could alter facts. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flare by now. You! Infected by a mind flare? <laughs> Ridiculous! Oh, she's got that sweet look on her face. Examine me. Find out for yourself. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. I mean, what is he looking for? How will he know, though? You know what I mean? Is he a healer? Is he... If I just peer in your eye... Is he going to jump out quickly... and go in your eye? Oh, my dear sweet 
got? Can you help? I mean, yes. I suppose I can. You can? I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. <laughs> what? I highly doubt that, but okay. And can I use this find a familiar? Find a spider. Oh my god, I've had this this whole time. <laughs> uh, I want a crab. Oh my god, I have a crab. With two hit points. Yes! Alright, fair enough. Well, let's go sleep and be out. Hopefully it'll still be with me. Oh my god, I have, he's a little baby. We gotta go assassinate some goblin leaders. Alright, so we've got a warlock now. Interesting. I'm not too sure what that's gonna mean for us. Uh, let's see. We'll cross on over. Do I still have my familiar? Doesn't look like it. Oh, he wants to say something? Oh, what's the deal? Hello, hello. Uh, yeah. What were you doing just now? Oh, that. Just preparing my war cry. I'm coming as fast as I can. <sighs> Songbirds could peep war cries more chilling than yours. What if he's full These of lies? Of work, I reckon. I haven't been exactly forthcoming. I've got a reason of my own for going after the goblins. And what reason would that be? You know my missing eye? That's goblin work. There. Okay. I was still a whelp when a goblin bruiser named Spike ripped it out of my skull. And I've got reason to think he's holed up in that camp. So what's so in your eye socket right now? You see. At least not till I finish my business with Spike. So did you take said eye and put it back in your skull? Well, let's go in and get a familiar. I'm going to go get my crab. There we go. And I know that you've got a familiar as well. So why don't you do that? You can choose. Oh, Quasit. Summon a familiar with a form and statistics of a Quasit that frightens enemies. An imp. Its barbed tail can inject enemies with a potent poison. Well, frighten seems really useful. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's wild. Oh, I'll do a quick save and let's go. Hopefully they won't say anything. We're back. 36 health. 36 health. Just got some serious beasts here. God, we're going to be surrounded. How are we going to do this? So that's one of the goblin leaders, right? Of course, there's uh, Minthara. Minthara is quite frightening. More people back here. Brackle, faithful of Maglubiet. I wonder if we could recruit, if we release some of the prisoners, will they help us? That might be the way to go here. Ornate door. Who are you? A trader? The heck? Why are you in here? Not the jingle of coin, I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today. So I'm feeling generous. The hell are you? Your insignia, I've seen it before in the Underdark. Aye, so you have. There's one place the Zentarim can trade openly, thank the gods. Folk up here like to quiver over right and wrong. Until the coin starts clinking, anyway. It's just business. If there was money in being good, the Zentarim would be pure as paladins. <laughs> well, let me see your wares, then. Oh, what do you got? Is it mostly magical? Holy crap, you've got a lot of stuff. Oh, you have a longbow. You have a freaking longbow. How much is this? 600. I mean, compared to what we have right now, this is amazing. Heavy ammunition, two-handed dippable. I don't know what heavy means. Chain shirt. Rapier. Great sword. Great axe. Dagger. Okay, I want the longbow, though. 1,500. 1500 okay well we'll screw it i have a feeling that uh there's not much more that we can do so we'll go do we have enough for that though i guess is the question can we barter 1500 all right well there we go not sure if it's worth it but i'll take it and now uh, we'll sell this 
Take a few coin. It's like all our money. Pleasure. Hopefully it was worth it. And we'll swap over. There's our brand new boat. Look how huge it is. Holy crap. Hopefully that'll help us out. All right, let's cross over here. We haven't been up here yet. We could get the high ground. I see a ladder. We're just looking for options to kill their leaders, right? So let's head on up. Where does this go? If we've got range, this will be ideal for us, right? Can we drop things on their head? Oh, this? Look at this. If we could drop this, that would be amazing. Is this above her head? Oh, it's not quite above her head. No. This is, though. Can I shoot from up here? Can I interact with him? I can. 88%. Look at that. Oh, what are What's going on here? Oh, who is this? So confused. Okay, so quick, quick thing here. Defeat. We arrived at a camp full of goblins. There must be a way to cripple them without having to fight them all. That's what I'm thinking. No, seriously. Maybe we need to put something into their, into the pot where they drink from or something like that instead of just attacking them all because this seems, well, we would, seriously, it would be over. If we can't even handle four level fours at the same time or four level fives, it seems like a bit much for us right now because there's just way too many of them. Brackle. Faithful. What's the deal with you? Praise his ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGlubbyet. Is that your god? You know McGlubbyet, a tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Oh, that's cool. Trying to interrupt my praise. Scared of a real god. You're as goomless as the rest of them. Okay, well, they don't really like us. My goddess is real. I follow Loth, the Spider Queen. Good on you. Don't matter to me if it's Loth or my boy McGlubbyet. It's about tradition. This upstart everyone's praising is going to trample all over our gods and our faith. Makes me Oh, he's sick. talking about the Absolute. The Absolute. The other goblins seem to love her. They like feasting, fighting, and fornicating. Who doesn't? Absolute gives him that. Gotta know your place in the world, though. McClubbyet's kept us in line. That's what a god's supposed to do. All right, well, fair. So I was hoping that when we talk to him, he might be like, hey, let me out, I'll help you or something. Warrior Plague. You ask me, those gobbles are talking about me. Let's check it out. Oh, I ain't afraid of the Blade of Frontiers. Oh, I got the Absolute's might. Okay. Those fist feathers at the inn raid ain't had a chance. I chopped them up and tossed them on the flames. Well, ain't you cock of the walk. Go get the Blade of Frontiers, unless you want my piss in your ear. The Blade? Spike's seen him fight, says he's a pussycat. Where is Spike? If any cross me, I'd crack open his skull and scoop out the brains. That's all you got? I'll spot a whelp, and I'm strapping him to this spit and watching him roast. A good-natured round of how to murder the blade? Come on. Let's play. Who am I to stop the champion? Go ahead and play. Boys, boys, this is child's play. You want the blade to suffer? Slice his feet off and make him eat them. Raw. Oh, you're real nasty. Uh, you. How would you kill the blade, your drowness? Lop off his head? Boil him up for the walks to gobble? Oh, yes? We're all ears, your drowness. Tie rocks to the ankles, dip him in oil, flence his guts, and sew together a cloak. You want to torture the blade, tickle him until he begs for relief. I cover him in shriek pace and let the spiders feed. You're just a treasure, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> your drowness is nasty. You want nasty? Watch close and I'll show you nasty. Get ready, chief. It's time to unleash the blade. Oh, boy. Give Will a nod and prepare to attack. Hey, Gobbo. Check my eye. 
<laughs> oh, we outnumber them by quite a lot. Hopefully it's just limited to them, right? Okay, we got this range. We have our new bow, 1d8. Let's clear through first for Nick Nuck. Hunter's Mark. Give us advantage. Probably should have done that first and hold. Yeah, you're not getting away. That's a great thing. Okay, so as a warlock, I don't know if it means that he should be able to use this rapier. Eldritch Blast. We get a free mage armor, apparently. Or not. Requirements not met. Prerequisite not wearing armor. Oh, what? Not wearing armor? That's weird. Heck yes. Hold. Okay, come on, crab. <laughs> what a baby. Can you hit him? All right, hide, I guess. Hold. Nail him. Oh my goodness. Action surge. Once per short rest. We got to hold on to that. We'll get a push. Close. You smell that? Sulfur. We need to find Spike fast. Hold. Oh crap. There's more. That's what I was worried about. Oh blind. That's not good at all. It's going to make it even harder to hit. Can I get shots on? 90. Hold. Target too far. Not enough space. Man, they really worked us over. Alright, we'll go for a strike. Misty step. Unoccupied location. Out of sight. Oh, because of all this. Can I jump out? Or is it because I can't see? That means they can't see us either. So this is actually pretty helpful. We're pulling them to us. The only one they'll really be able to see is uh, our main character. Yeah. Our right, come on, little crab. Can I even get close enough? Can I use my pincer crippling pinch? <laughs> yes! Oh, what an amazing crab. So glad I have it. Are we going to get out of here? Can I hop out? Target too far, really? Or what about this? Do you smell that? Sulfur. Not enough resources. We need to find Spike fast. And we'll go in with. Can I close the gap? I guess we'll have to go to range. Hold. If we can get him to frighten, that'll be helpful. Or at least hold him in there. Gosh, that blind attack was, was something else, yeah? Alright, long shot. So 95, 6 points. 1d8 plus 1. Heck yes. All clear. Beautiful. Alright, clear out, clear out. Sulfur. We need to find spice. Strike to burn. Beautiful. Oh, are they gonna aggro more people? Crap. That's not good at all. All right, Eldritch, 81. Oh, 
Come on, little crab. Give him a pinch. <laughs> and go. Heck yes. We can have a sniper war. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Send it 100%. Beautiful. And close the gap. Oh, no. They're hitting a drum. There's more allies coming. Crap. Oh, we we messed up. Oh, is that the boss? Oh, my God. We're fighting against the boss. <laughs> You know, I almost feel like we should stay in this room and force them through this narrow opening right here. Yeah. Come on, crab. Come on, crab. Boy, do we need healing. This is so bad. All right, finisher. Finisher. We need to end enemies as quickly as possible. Too far. Heck yes. All right, close out, close out. Break line of sight. Force them in. Now we can use the uh, familiar to hopefully cause frighten. Keep the place clean. Grush. Maybe Spike's going to be amongst them? I think we just aggroed the whole fortress. <laughs> so now is the time. So we're going to go ahead and use that doorway as a choke point. So let's get line of sight on it. So we're going to pull back. Do you smell that? Like this. Get shots on there while staying far away. I will hold. Fast. I will hold here. Who needs healing right now? Who needs healing? So we're looking at probably the frontliners right now. So we'll get it on herself. Take two. And minor illusion. Can we use it? Right there. And we'll tuck back here. Show you. <laughs> We've. Have we aggroed a rat? Oh, are you kidding me? We aggroed a rat? And he just destroyed our illusion. So that's actually really good. Okay, he sort of has to keep his range. So we're just going to, like, just tuck to break line of sight. And uh, let's use a potion and hold. Crab is getting ready. We'll cross over all the way for that little pinch. That's Spike. All right, we found Spike. We found Spike. We got to kill that guy. We didn't even have to find him. Man, we're so good. He's coming to us. It's perfect. So what's up with her Bane? One turn remaining. We'll just hold here, I guess. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Who's up next? So this guy, where is he? Novice Clack. Novice Clack, where is he at? Quasit. Lookout Grush. Novice Clack is going to be after Shadowheart. So let's tuck over. We'll go Eldritch Blast. And we'll pull away. And hold. My main worry is that Eldritch Blast is... is We're going to run out of them. I'm hoping in that it's like an innate ability of the Warlock. And he can use it like once a turn or something. That is my real... My real hope for all of this. Well, how much does he have? Four? Should be able to get a short bow shot off. Send it. 80. Heck yes. And pull back. Beautiful. So one down, one down. Duplicity mirror image. We may have to hold on this one. Or we could pop out. We could put a uh, hold person. Perhaps like that. 40%, 65 in the back. And then we'll tuck on back. Okay. Oh, they're all grouping up. Not good. Eldritch Blast. It seems that we can use it each time. Can I get a shot off from here? 40%. What about 90? Oh. I will take it. I will take it. And Hex. Curse a creature to deal an additional 1d6. The creature has disadvantage on ability checks. Target too far. Oh, it's like a melee ability. All right, pull back. Pull back. Oh, come on. Come on. Pull forward. There she is. There she is. That's what we need. We need you right here. Right in front of us. Oh, what? What? The heck just happened? I'm dead. And then the bedroll. 
What the hell was that? Okay, I did not anticipate that. Wow. That's ridiculous. What just happened? All right, never mind. Well, crap. Can we menacing attack 35%? Tears protection. Surround a creature with a shimmering field of magic. Oh, jeez. All right, potion to speed. We're going. Alchemist fire. 4%. Menace, 35. Again, 35. It's using our superiority die. And hold, I suppose. Invisibility, claws, or scare. Damn it. <laughs> Gosh, what the heck happened to our main character? I almost feel like there's so many people in camp right now. They should be able to help her. But I can't even, because her body's gone, I can't even use a scroll of revivify, which is ridiculous. We are just, now the whole tide is pretty much turned, I feel like. All right, well, Azale's up in the front. There we go. Plus five. Alchemist Fire, Turn Undead, Disguise Self. What about Sacred Flame? Heck yes. I'll take anything. That's the first damage that we've dealt to her so far. I really want to pull her around the corner, so maybe I shouldn't stand in the doorway right now. God, she's strong then. If she can just teleport you to some other world or something armor of agathe's necrotic 2d6 versus 1d10 let's go 2d6 3d6 necrotic damage but we have to be close enough okay well we'll start with misty step we can see it so we'll be right here so now we're behind her close over and we're going with arms of hadar Fifty-one, and we'll hold. So he's in mortal danger right now, but it seems like a lot of his abilities need him to get into melee range. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we're all in serious trouble. Alchemist Fire, Potion of Fire Resistance. Pulls all nearby unfixed items. Spikes of the Bulb. All right, second wind. Action Surge. Use the Superiority Die. 58. Man. We can't hit worth a darn. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Wow. It's too bad I can't... Can I jump? Yeah, we jump over. Jump over. won't let us. Can we, like, get out here, though? Oh, all the way around. I guess I could have used dash. Crap, this is ridiculous. Alright, guiding bolt. Heal and cross over. If we had our main party member, I feel like this would be really different because we'd be able to debuff her and send arrows from afar. And now she's getting healed. Yeah, attacking in the throne room would have been horrible. If we were to do this a second time, I would definitely need to hit the reinforcements before he hits the gong. Gonna hop on out? No? There we go. Can we cleave? 64. 
two. Whoa! That is a serious throw. Oh my god, this lady's insane. Did she like pull us in? Holy crap. Double attacks, double attacks. Can I get behind and strike and I, I'm, I'm more efficient? Oh, Jesus. Attack of opportunity. Menacing. Gosh, we just can't hit with that. I wonder if... I'm curious. So if you go over to our gloves right now, you look at gloves of power, it says, the wearer of this item gains absolutes bane. Creatures hit by an attack may receive a D4 penalty to attack rolls and saving throws. Woe any non-believer who hopes to steal their power. Blessed by priestess gut. These gauntlets aid any who bear the absolutes mark upon their flip. Oh! Bunnies, this whole time I do not have the mark on us, so I've been hurting my chances. <laughs> I totally thought that this meant that I'm applying Bane to other people, but so far I've been uh, suffering from Bane this whole time. So that really blows. So I wonder if I can connect now. Well, there you go. Tell you what. Oh, crap. <laughs> we might have to get into this one again on the next one. Holy crap. Wow, what a bummer. Okay, bunny. So I know we're running long, so I might just cut out all of that right before. Um, so now we've taken the gloves of power off after discovering its negative effects on us. We've been running with those gloves for quite a few episodes now. <laughs> But I'm really curious. The last thing that I want to do here is to figure out what happens when we run into Torturer Spike with the Blade of Frontiers. So let's do this. Look what the Absolute dragged in. It's my pussy cat, the Blade of Frontiers. Yeah, Ragslin will be letting Kobolds in next. I caught the chat spike. I know you have the woman. Mizora. Where is she? Where is Mizora? The lady's a friend of yours. Cry all you want, Kitty. These lips are sealed. Mizora? Who are you talking? Well, let's let's hold back. Contact with connect with Will. What is he hiding? I'll give you a choice, Goblin. Cooperate or be flayed alive. Oh, that's a high roll. Can we make that roll? Oh, did it bug out? No! <laughs> How do we... Did it bug out? Can I hit different buttons and it might work? I can't even hit escape right now. Well, crap. All right, bunnies. Well, it looks like the roll is not possible. So we've kind of bugged out a little bit. But at least we know where we'll be picking up on the next episode. Uh, it seems like the Blade of Frontiers has finally left us on a bit of an involuntary cliffhanger. Um, gosh, there's so many things that we discovered this episode. Apparently for many playthroughs right now, uh, we've just been running around suffering attack and saving throw negatives uh, when we were using the Gloves of Power because we didn't let the Priest's Gut mark our flesh as an absolute chosen. Um, so that's a little embarrassing, but we've corrected the issue. We've got a brand new bow. Uh, hopefully we can figure out a less hey diddle diddle way of attacking the entire goblin camp at once and hopefully we'll figure out who the heck Mizora is and what the heck is going on with Spike so uh unfortunately due to the time we have been running a little bit long we do have to end here but let me know what you thought in the comments below if you like the video a thumbs up always helps us out I had a total blast I hope you did as well and I can't wait to get into the next one video have a good night